Hey all, it is your girl, The Well Share, and I'm here to share with you how to become a millionaire through your 401k. And what's interesting is that just the other day, um, it was reported on CNN, I believe it was where I watched it, and it's pretty much if you can Google it for yourself, but there are articles out there that are talking about the more people in the age range between um, I want to say 43 to 90, uh, let's just say 35, if I did that math right, maybe even 30, they are actually becoming millionaires through their 401k. And the it's been increased about 10% um, in the past quarter of this year. And most of this information is coming from Fidelity. And one of the things that people are actually really understanding is that they can become millionaires through their 401k. And for those who are not aware of what a 401k is, a 401k is pretty much an employee match system to help people save for retirement. So as you all know, most companies are no longer doing pensions. Um, this is catered to those who are working in a nine to five and they have the option to contribute to a 401k. Now, for those who are business owners, you have the opportunity um, to contribute towards a Roth 401k and you can apply some of the same principles in terms of what I teach about finding the right fund class to contribute to and having that pretty much drive how your money increase. I myself have seen 65, 64% increase in the past year through the Roth IRA that my husband and I have. And in with my 401k, I'll speak to the one that I have with my, my, my other employer, it's seen about a 30% growth in this past year. Now tell me what bank is going to give you 30%, okay? And I'm at some point in the future, I'm probably going to start I'm probably going to start talking more about stock options and ways to increase your wealth through stocks. But I really want to dedicate this time and space to your 401k because one, we're going into a brand new year. And two, a lot of people like yourself may not understand the opportunities that's there for you to become a millionaire through your 401k. And a lot of times people tend to think not them but others. They think everyone else can, you know, have this opportunity and you have to make a certain amount of money in order to become a millionaire. And that's not true. There are a few dependent on where you can become a millionaire through your 401k by just contributing and more or less maxing it out. So going above beyond what your employer is asking, it's actually contributing, which is like maybe three, five percent for most people. And not necessarily just trying to match dollar match what they're contributing, but going above and beyond that. So I'm just going to say one, I'm going to pray and say, God, I pray that you will um, help this video resonate with those who needs to hear this video. Um, I pray that you will allow them the time and space to really connect with these words, to really understand the presentation. I'm going to show them in Excel and how to really uh, um, off, how to con Gain more through what they already have coming to them, God. And I pray that they will see abundance and not lack. And I pray that they'll be able to follow your plan in every way and let your will be done. So before I jump into it, for those who do not who do not know me as a, you know the well sharer, just know that everything I do is very God forward. I am a very God first person and I'm making these videos because God wants me to share with you all how you can increase and multiply what God has given you because we are already part of God's prosperity plan. A lot of people don't really know and understand what that means. So through me educating you about finances, I'm going to also pass on the wisdom, the wealth of wisdom that God has shared with me and God put in me to give to you so you understand more of how God works because a lot of times people don't and that's where they get pretty much become stagnant in their life because they don't understand how God works. So know that if you're going to hear anything come out of my mouth, it's going to be because God is prompting me to do so and because God is a God that wants us to love and share and become generous in everything we do, not to guard our heart and guard information and not to guard, guard especially when it comes to finances, not to hold back in giving information or giving 
financial abundance to others where they can prosper and we are to have a given heart at all time, not just in information, but also in giving monetary to others, okay? So more about more 401k millionaires, they are contributing to their account about an average of about 25 years. So they're also saving about 17% of their income according to Fidelity. And that's where, where I was saying to you all, you have to go above and beyond what your employers contribute con contributing to your plan because a lot of times people are in this mindset where they do what other people are doing in terms of not, um, limiting themselves. So I too, and I can say this because I've heard it, only match what your employer, like at least match what your employer is matching. And then people don't give any more because they want to bring home more rather than sacrifice now and delay gratification now, you know, in the now so they can have more later. Now, I want you all to know you have the ability, okay, to become a multimillionaire. Yes, you do. Whether you're making 50000 a 100000 or better. And even if you're making 35000 there are ways that you can multiply your money. When I say multiply your money, it makes me go back to, in the Bible, it speaks about the, um, the servants who received talents. And they all were told to go out and multiply it. And that one servant decided to keep that one talent to their self and bury it. And a lot of times we don't realize that the Bible is very black and white, but it's very mystical and very magical and very, um, there's more meanings behind it. So you have to understand when God is telling you about a servant who buried their talent, a lot of times people are burying their talent or they are hoarding their talent, they're hoarding their money, and you cannot prosper with hoarding. You cannot prosper by being coveted, like covetous. You cannot prosper by holding things and gardening. You have to understand money, ca cash is meant to flow. Money is a currency. It's energetic. It's also tied to how you think, how you feel. And a lot of times we don't realize that the mindset that they carry that comes into a space of feeling broke and broken when it comes to finances, it's a mindset. It's a way of thinking. It's how you're fixing what you perceive that money is and what money does. So you have to really understand the people that taught you, there's a possibility, okay? I don't want to say you because it may not be your story, but there are people out there who parents and grandparents taught them how to hoard money and how to not be limited in their thoughts when it comes to money. And I need you to understand that is the wrong way. Now, yes, you know, I was, I've been reading Luke, chapter, reading Luke, and I want to say in the past few days, I was in Luke 18 and it talked about greed and it talked about money being the root of all evil. And it also specified about you have to have a generous heart. You cannot allow money to cause your heart to harden to where you don't want to give to anyone, okay? It is to anyone because God is a God of love. God is a love God of abundance. And people don't understand God wants them to be abundant and to give. And just over the past few days, what came to me in thought and also with me, you know, doing my research and listening to others, it was more of the fact that God is the God who created everything you see and everything you see on this earth is nothing but abundance. So therefore, if God is the creator of all things and we are made in God's image, that means we have the ability to have abundance and lots of it as well. There's nothing wrong with seeking prosperity as long as that prosperity you you take you you seeing prosperity does not become your idol in the way that you're going about it. You don't start to steal and you don't start to lie. You don't start to do things that dishonor God in your journey. So you have to keep God first because God will allow you to prosper like he did at Abraham, like he did Jacob, Solomon, David. There's so many in the Bible, Job, that God helped to prosper and gave them wealth. Okay, and riches, and they 
were right with God. So you have to understand it's possible. I want to debunk anything out there that tells you otherwise, that tell you that God doesn't want you to be prosperous. Because how can that be when God is a, a, a a God over all things and God is prosperous in everything. So if we're made in his image, you have to learn to balance the world and not having money be the one thing that you chase because we're not to chase money to allow experiences of um, financial abundance to come to you by following God's plan. But if you chase it, then it becomes an idol. So you have to learn and ask God to help you balance that out to where you are not tiptoeing in a space of greed and tiptoeing in a space of um, not giving to others so you can really operate in true abundance, prosperity, wealth, and generosity plus more. Okay. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share my screen. I kind of went ahead and preset everything. So this won't be such a long video, like my last video, where I kind of dived into the, the, the meaning behind your paycheck and how you can allocate different ways. Just for those people who want to understand their paycheck more, you have to know the numbers. You have to take control of your life by knowing what you're working with. Do not allow your paycheck, money, or your employer to control you where you do not understand what it is to know your numbers. And if you know your numbers, you'll be easily be able to toggle between what you need to do and what you need to not do. Okay, so let's get into it. All right. Let me see if I can find, I want to say this is it. All righty. So this is uh, a pre-made uh, analysis that I created for those who've been rocking with me for the past um, almost five years. You guys know that I love numbers. I love spreadsheets. and I love to help people get out of their financial um, despair. So we've been focusing on 401k and using your 401k to become a millionaire by the time before you are ready for retirement. That way you have time freedom, financial freedom. You're not having to depend on social security. Your social security check could be, you know, a trip to Mexico. It could be a trip to anywhere around the world. It could just be leisure money. It's not something that you're dependent on. So you want to use your 401k to, to get that time and financial freedom because once you reach a certain age, that money is yours tax free. So for those who are not familiar with the 401k plan, you're contributing a certain amount of your paycheck to a, um, a plan within like Fidelity, Transamerica, it could be Charles Schwab. There's so many different um, institutions that offer 401ks for employers to help with their employees' retirement, okay? Now, also understand, not only is it tax-free, but there is a maximum you can contribute every year. And if you miss out on any year, you cannot go backwards and contribute. You can only contribute from this moment forward. But depending on where you are in the year, if this is something, let's just say, you know, we're now in December, 2024, and you watch this video in June, 2025, or in 2026, because we know YouTube videos last can last for many, many years and forever. Whenever you watch this video, if you recognize that you can actually shift, make different allocations of your paycheck to max out your 401k, you can do so. So it's not a one size fit all where you can you only do it going into the beginning of the year. I'm creating this video for you guys to reset your um, allocations in your paycheck so you can take out the minimum amount for whatever you want to contribute versus later on in the year having to have a high percentage impact your paycheck where you're bringing home less. Okay. So also know that with it being pre-tax and there being a maximum you can contribute in a year, there's also the um, the fact that the more the more you contribute, the less taxes you pay because tax 
the federal government and state only tax you on your post-tax dollars. So that's why it's called pre-tax. It's pre-tax not only for um, your federal, but also for your state taxes as well, okay? So pre-tax means that you do not pay any taxes on it and anything after what you contribute towards your 401k, that becomes now taxable, okay? So as you can see here, and I'm gonna make this just a tad bigger so you guys can see this with ease, I already put in here what the maximum con contribution is for 2025 because we are doing pre-planning. I want to always help you all be proactive and not reactive. Now, reactive is a great thing because you still get to try to make up for it. But like we're in December, if you're now watching this video, you have only maybe one or two paychecks left. I want to say probably two paychecks left in this month of December to be able to put more into your 401k pre-tax so you can try to build more um, assets in that space, okay? So here we have, I'm giving you guys two examples. So let's just say this person is going to max out 100% and they're going to contribute the entire 23,500 for 2025 that person would need to contribute $900 every time they get paid. Now, I'm going to put in different salaries because here's the thing. Someone can make $50,000 and contribute the max and bring home, you know, whatever the example I here, have here is $730. And because their situation doesn't call for them to pay a mortgage or a car note and they don't have any debt, they are willing to make that sacrifice because their circumstances can call for it. Whereas we can change this number to higher, which is someone who's making, let's just say 80,000. And as you can see here, they're gonna bring home $1,500 every time they get paid. So for those who want to do this on your own, which I encourage you to do. So I'm gonna talk you through what the spreadsheet looks like so you can duplicate it for yourself. I also can help you if you reach out to me. Um, just know that um, that will require you to send me an email, so forth, and we can kind of talk through what that looks like. But with that said, I want you guys to understand your paycheck, okay? A lot of times people get their paycheck and they never look at it. They never look and see how much is coming out for taxes, how much is coming out for Medicare, how much come out for the Social Security. Now, sidebar. For Social Security, I do encourage you to go to the Social Security website and log in so you can understand what you will receive when you retire. Social Security will recap all your paychecks going back from when you first started and how much you contributed, and then they will tell you, based on what you've contributed from the time you started working till now, if, when you, if you didn't work anymore, when you reach to be 67, you would get X amount per month. Now, just know that you can increase that the more higher salary jobs you have, and that will help to balance out you having more coming into your monthly payments when you retire, okay? And they will also give you an option to retire at 72. Now, it doesn't mean you retire and you like automatically get it, you can retire and hold off from collecting social security. So that's what I plan to do. I plan on retiring very, very early. Um, I do not plan on working after a certain age. And with that, I when I reach 67, I can go ahead and claim my social security um, monthly amount. So it's very tempting when you see to, re to retire or to claim your social security at 72 because there it is probably maybe $500 to $1,000 more per month, depending on how much you've contributed. I will say what God has shared with me and revealed to me, for someone, also, it was actually, I'll speak how God spoke to me. If I decided to wait the um, five years, 67 and 72, so five years to collect Social Security, even though I'm getting it at a higher monthly rate, 
that's five years of me not receiving anything at all. So it sounds tempting to wait the five years to get more, but count how much money in that five years you would have received Social Security to know that it's not a good plan. So don't fall for that bait, okay? Again, when God shares with me, I share with you because I'm not sure if I mentioned this. Um, I want to get a little close. I want to make sure that this is known. When God gives you information, God doesn't give you information just for yourself. He gives you information for you to share with others. That's the love of others. That's the love of prosperity, the abundance, the, the generosity. We are not to hoard information because it benefits us. Because one, God knows our thoughts. God knows our feelings. God knows our heart. So there's nothing we can do that can bypass God in any way, shape, or form. So if you have a relationship with God and God has revealed something to you and God tells you to share with someone else, the moment that you decide, I don't know if I want to do that, it's you guarding that information and not becoming a sharer, okay? A wealth sharer, okay? You, and God knows that. You can't hide anything from God. So God will know your heart position over that matter. And you need to be mindful of just sharing it because God has revealed to me many, many times over and over again that there is enough resources here on earth and beyond our understanding that God can do all things. So there's no reason for us to not share something with someone else because we are fearful of them having more. You shouldn't ever feel that way. You should be happy for someone having more because that means that you understand God is an abundant God and God is blessing them. There should not ever be a space where you feel someone is obligated to give you money or anything of that. So if someone that you know or come across has more than you in what you see or feel, right? Because we all are abundant. People just don't realize that they're abundant. So they tend to feel lack when they shouldn't. But if you ever feel that way, don't ever feel like someone owes you money or supposed to give you anything. I think that's where many people go into a space of thinking and feeling and then they have resentment towards someone else because they feel like someone's obligated to help them. That is not the case. You have to have a relationship with God to know that God is your provider and what you need, God will provide. It's not for someone else to provide for you. God is your provider, okay? I just needed to have a moment with you so you, we can understand what it is that God wants us to do and the heart space that we're supposed to operate in, okay? All right, so let's jump back into this spreadsheet. Again, this will be quick, okay? All right, so again, for those who want to master understanding spreadsheets and how to create a spreadsheet, this is an Excel spreadsheet. Excel is very easy. You're on YouTube already. You can go and find a video where someone's teaching you how to just plug the numbers in. It's literally just type it in and press enter, okay? So, and there's also formulas in here where it's just like, you know, equals is a cell divided by a certain number or a cell by, divided by a cell, okay? Minus a cell plus a cell. You can do multiple, you can do math in these spreadsheets or you could just write things out, okay? So don't ever be intimidated by spreadsheets or any type. Don't be intimidated by, any, intimidated by anything. God has told me that everything is easy. There are things that feel hard because we're, we're not familiar with it, but that doesn't mean that you don't have the opportunity to learn. We're made in God's image, which means we're creators, which means that we can receive information. So just put yourself in a space where whatever it is that you're trying to understand, put yourself in a space to learn it so you can feel comfortable in it, okay? So I have, so I showed you here this, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna rewind a little bit. So this here is, this person is going to contribute 100% of the maximum they can for 2025. So that brings their maximum contribution to 23,500 and their bi-weekly amount they're gonna contribute is $903. Down here, this person's going to contribute 10% of the 23, which means they're only gonna contribute $2,350 per year. And then they're going to also contribute $90 per paycheck, okay? so. 
two vastly different scenarios. We can change the numbers. But I just wanted to kind of talk to you what the top chart versus the bottom chart means, okay? So this is the top chart here. So this person makes 80,000 minus the, their 401k, they gross 56,000. Now, if you listen to my videos recently or in the past, I always tell people when I talk about finances and I'm educating people about finances, do not get caught up in your salary number. There are, or don't get caught up in hearing somebody else's salary because someone's salary is not what they're bringing home, okay? And I'm showing you that right here. Someone can make $150,000 and they can actually bring home $80,000 because of the deductions and things they have coming out. So don't ever feel like because someone makes more in theory. And maybe I don't know if I, should, I, I quote it anyway. So it is what it is. All right. So just because someone sounds like the number seems high does not mean that they're bringing that home. You have to account for taxes, for social security, Medicaid, their um, life insurance, their medical benefits, which is medical, dental, eye. There's so many things in the equation that you may not see. OK, and people might have health savings account, which I touched on of another way to um, add to your your millions. OK, we're already claiming it for you all. You are say I am a millionaire. Pause and say I am a millionaire. Say it again. I am a millionaire. I'm a multimillionaire. I'm a multimillionaire and better. OK, because there's no limitations. OK, so just make sure you start using affirmations at times to help you speak what you want. Okay. So just know that just because someone makes a certain amount doesn't mean that that's what they're bringing home. So you can see this here. If this, if someone decides to contribute the maximum amount, they're going to bring home less. But here's the great thing about that. Okay. That money's going towards them. They are investing in themselves. So that means that 401k, that money is theirs. Okay. It's Let's just use it as a saving account, okay? Your 401k is a saving plan towards your retirement, but you can only not, let me rephrase. You should only maxim, use it at retirement because if not, then you pay taxes on the amount. And also you lower your ability to become a millionaire if you're pulling money out of it too much, okay? So now we're gonna dive into what that looks like per paycheck. Now I'm using the uh, scenario of someone who gets paid every two weeks. So their bi-weekly contribu contribution, sorry, their bi-weekly paycheck would be $3,000. And after the 401k contribution of the $903, they're actually going to um, gross 2173 so remember when I said to you all that your taxes is tied to your pre-tax dollars? This right here is your pre-tax dollars, but broken out by your paycheck. So I'm gonna put here, this is pre-tax. Okay, this is pre-tax, okay? These right here. Okay, so this here is pre-tax and this here is pre-tax. So now your tax deduction categories and hold on, let me do something because I just want to make sure I change all. Okay, there we go. Change all. All right, there we go. Easy peasy. All right, so your the tax deductions are the federal, social security, Medicaid, state, okay? So I put in here percentages that may vary by person because again, if this is my last video, you can go there and listen to the breakdown of why it will be different per person. But for this sake, this person makes 80000 So we're going to say, estimate their taxes deduction about 17% of their paycheck. Now, every individual, they determine how much they pay in taxes. So just know this is a scenario. This is not a recommendation. I am not a tax accountant. Okay. Um, I'm just a financial educator. I love to share what I know so you can do better. Social Security is usually around 6%, Medicaid around 1%, state can be around 4 Just like federal, state, you can, you're the one who determines how much you pay by how much you're having come out your paycheck, okay? So 
I want to, I'm gonna put these both at the same amount because I wanna show you all the differences between the taxes that come out. Stay with me, make sure you watch this whole video because there's gonna be nuggets that's going to change your life, okay? So understand this person is making 80,000. They're contributing the maximum amount. They're also going to pay less taxes than someone who's only given a less amount to their 401k because the more money you put away that's pre-tax, it is the less taxes you give. Now, here's a question that God said to me. Terry, why would you, was it more, I'll just say, I'm going to say just the, why would you, this, this is what God revealed to me, why would you not maximize and save for yourself rather than give more to the government? Why not pay yourself first and then pay the government? So God has put on me, max out your 401k because it's only, you're only going to reap rewards from doing that. Okay. That's where the million dollar status comes in. Okay. So if you want to pay less taxes, you can do so by pushing more money into your 401k. Now your Roth IRA is post-tax. And that is where you are going to pay taxes on that. That means once you get this paycheck, after everything comes out, you can still contribute money after taxes towards your 401k. Okay. So, sorry, not 401k, your Roth IRA. Okay. So we're going to play around with this because I want you to see something. We're going to make this 150,000. If you don't make 150,000, don't feel away because I want you to know that you can one day. If that's what you put in your mind, I have been blessed with knowing that every time I said a number I wanted to make, I made that number. It took time and it's just one of those things where the power of life and death is in the tongue. If you speak it, so it shall be. If you say it, it will manifest depending on what it is. Okay. And I said, what depending on what it is, because sometimes God will be like, nope, not that. Okay. But you just need to be mindful of what you're speaking into yourself. So if you want to make $250,000, you can just put that in your mind of what that's what you want to make. And then know that God will put the opportunity in front of you. If that is in alignment to what, what you, what God wants for you. Okay. So here's where I'm going to put it back at, I'm going to put it at 150. Okay. So you have two people who are contribute, contributing um, their pre their they're putting money into their 401k, but one is given uh hundred percent and the other one's given 10%. So as you can see here, there's still a difference in what they're paying in taxes, okay? And there's a difference between their what they're bringing home because of what they're bringing in taxes. So let's just say this person is contributing 20, let's just do 15%. Okay, 15% is gonna be 15% of the twenty three, the $23,000, okay? Or they're gonna contribute 20%. That means that they're gonna now have to do um, $180 that's going to be coming out of their paycheck every two weeks. But you see how the numbers are changing? So just know that I want you to create a space and time dedicated for you to sit down and write out your own numbers. Get your paychecks and your look at this past year. What have you contributed in your 401k? And then go to your 401k plan and look to see how much money you have set aside thus far for retirement. This is an easy way. And I say easy because it really is, okay? Now, this is where budgeting comes in. Budgeting comes in where you are making sure that you're not spending extra money and you can be putting money away for yourself, okay? So just know that you have the ability to control where your money's going. Do not let your money control you, okay? I pray this is everything you need to know and that you are more than able to max out on the opportunities that you have. I pray God will guide you. And if you have any questions, drop it down in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to this 
So the more you subscribe, the more this can reach other people. And that way we are sharing more with the world. Bye.